Hello everyone, I'm the Ninja Turkey, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. So last time we defeated Kent C. Koopa, and now we're going to go on to the next chapter. Uh, I guess I said I was going to heal off screen, but I forgot, so might as well do that now. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool, I think, that last time we beat Kent C. Koopa. And uh, yeah, now we're going to go on to my favorite chapter, and I'm pretty sure the only thing we need to do to do that is to go back into the Toad Town Tunnels, uh, where we were before, and, uh, um, go to that door. Um, but here, I'm gonna switch back to, I'm gonna switch, let's see, who should we have? Let's go with Bomet. I like Bomet. Uh, and yeah, I'm pretty, oh wait, that's not it, that's the bad shot. Uh, and yeah, we got a lot of coins in that last fight, too. We're at 91, just because, uh, <laughs> I used a bunch of items that gave me a quite quite big refund, so that's cool. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure we just need to go this way, but I don't know, maybe there's somebody we need to talk to first. But either way, we're going to find out. Um, oh, I, oh, crap. No, I didn't mean to do that. There's To get to where we want to go, we need to go into that house up there, not down the pipe. So, let's see. Because this is the shortcut. I mean, I don't... I feel like there's something we should probably need to do first, because why would the door just randomly be open, and how would I know that's where I need to go? But I, I don't know. Let's let's find out if that is indeed the case. If not, I don't know. Maybe I'll go see Merlin, see what he knows. All right, can we open it? No, we cannot. Okay, well, I guess Merlin, here we come. At least I am, like, 95% certain that that door is where we need to go, but... Maybe it's later? I I don't know. Let's, let's see what Merlin has to say. This is probably the first time I've used Merlin in a while. Uh, but yeah, I really don't know where to go, so let's, let's just see here. Alright, Merlin. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay, I guess this work. I guess maybe we don't have to pay him. We were just supposed to come here anyway. Oh, it's you. You came at such a good time. There's a guest waiting for you. Nice to meet you. I come from Starborn Valley. Starborn Valley is in the sh in the Shiver region, a chill place far to the north, at the very end of the earth. Merle or Merle, Merla, Merla. I'm gonna say Merla, <laughs> even though that's probably not right. Merla, who hails from there, said he had something important to tell you, Mario. Merla of Starborn Valley is my son, Mario. It seems he's calling for you. If, he's this, if he is searching for you, you can be sure something important is afoot. You must go to Starborn Valley. Do not delay. Yes, please hurry. I will run ahead and take tidings of you to Merla. I think somewhere deep below Toad Town is a pipe connected to Shiver City. Starborn Valley is located quite near Shiver City. Mario, hurry to meet my son. He waits in Starborn Valley. So the place he's talking about is Toad Town Tunnels, but now that I've talked to him and talked to that to that dude, now can I go in? I'm guessing so. So yeah, let's let's see. Guess I should have talked to Merlin first, but I, I didn't realize. Alright. Let's see if that door is magically open now. Hi, Rip Cheeto. Not gonna buy anything from you today. So, now, I'm guessing the door is open, and if not, guess I'll go off screen and see if I can figure it out, because I can't think of anything else. Damn it. There is a little bit of a problem. Maybe it's just me, I don't know, but there is a bit of a problem in this game with perspective, like figuring out where you need to be. That time I just fucked up, but the first time was perspective. I don't know, sometimes I just don't hit blocks, uh, like floating blocks, because of I think I'm underneath them, but I'm not, you know. Awesome, it's open, that is the right way. Sweet, so we just have a pipe here then. I'm guessing this heads to the next chapter. Or at least gets us close to it. Uh, oh hey, an upgrade block. Um, alright, well... Who am I upgrading, then? I feel like I'd rather upgrade Lack of Lester than Paracarry. I don't know why, but I just feel like I should. And, and actually, Cloud9 would definitely be a good thing to have, so let's upgrade him. Mm. 
Yay. Lack of Lester's upgrade to super rank. Sweet. All right. So, but now I'm going to switch back to Bombette because I like her more. <laughs> I guess another good thing about upgrading, uh, other than getting new moves, is that they do more damage. So, you know, makes them more viable. Makes Lack of Lester better. Chapter 7, A Star Spirit on Ice. Yay. My favorite chapter, if I remember correctly anyway. Again, it's been quite a while. Um, so might as well save as long as we're here. Don't know where to go. Uh, what do you guys have to say? Yeah, hello. This is the northernmost bird, Shiver City. You come from Toad Town? Very, very far away, yeah? Welcome to Shiver City. Why do you say yeah? Are you, like, Russian? Starborn Valley? Oh, sure. Go east from the city. I guess I'm going to give all the penguins a Russian accent. I've decided they're Russian. I apologize in advance to any Russian people who might be watching. But you have to be careful. I have it on good faith that there's lots of scary monsters between here and there. The thought makes me shiver. It seems like I hear these days are frightening. All I hear these days are frightening rumors. What's Shiver City coming to? I need some vodka. I'm a little bit racist, I've just realized. <laughs> Not like I'm trying to be mean. I'm just applying stereotypes to these characters. I don't really need anything from here. Not yet, anyway. Uh, okay, that's an in. What do you have to say? I saw this really bizarre guy around here the other day. He was shouting like, Oh, or it's freezing. And he was also going, No, Mario. Who was that nut? My Russian, my, my fake Russian accent is probably really bad. What's in here? Starborn Valley and Silver Mountain are both near here, comrade. But you'd better dress normally if you plan, or warmly if you plan on researching them. That's gonna get really old really fast, both for you and for me. I'm I'm probably not gonna keep doing that. Pengi, pengi, penguin pop, feel the rhythm, stop and bop, do the pengi, penguin hop. I feel like that'd be better with a Russian accent though. So, pengi, pengui, penguin hop. You know, it gets harder and harder to do it, like, as I keep doing it, so you know what, never mind. <laughs> All the snowmen in a line, a bucket hat fits super fine, eyes and nose is looking cool, bring a scarf, you pengi fool. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do, so I guess I'm just gonna explore all the houses. Anyone for a shaved ice treat, strawberry flavor, heart, maybe watermelon, heart, heart? Or my personal favorite, tangy, tan- 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 tangy. Tangy tangerine, heart? Ho ho, I love frozen treats. Sure you do. Can somebody give me, like, something I can go on? Something so I know where to go? Or are you just gonna start talking about penguins and treats and such? Okay, you look different. Do you have something to say? Oh, we have a guest. Welcome, you poor man. You must be freezing. If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please, go right in. Alright. Uh, you look dead. No reply. Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this? He has a memo in his hand that says Herringway. Is she gonna think I killed him? Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm? Oh, dear, you know you'll catch a cold if you sleep there. No! Oh, the humanity. Help! Somebody! Anybody! My husband is dead! He's been murdered! Mario's like, whoa, 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 don't jump to conclusions here. It's a penguin murder mystery. Does everyone think I killed him now? What's going on here, madam? Just calm down now. You need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. My husband is dead. Look at him lying there. Oh, my darling husband. Somebody clipped his flippers. Oh man, Mario's turned into a mystery, murder mystery drama now. By Puffin, you're right. The mayor's been murdered. This is like a mystery novel, except it's real. How tragic. But madam, if I may ask, what on, er, who on earth would have reason to put this penguin on ice? Him, right there, that man with the suspicious mustache. I told him not to come in the house, but he barged right in. You liar! You said come right in, and your, your husband's in the other room. What the fuck? <laughs> My husband was alive right up until this man showed up. Bullshit! 
I think you killed him. We're just waiting for someone to blame it on. He must be the murderer. Hey, you, Mustache, are you listening? This good woman's accusing you. What do you say for yourself? Don't try and play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. Isn't that right, madam? Yes, that's right. He did it in cold blood. I, uh, saw it with my own eyes. Fuck you! <laughs> I did not do it! You you were in the other room! You- I, I think you killed him, bitch! <laughs> Besides, he's the only one who came into this room. It all adds up. Bomet was here too. <laughs> Just saying. I'm not- I mean, I'm not trying to blame it on her, but she was here too. So you're sticking to your story, claiming you're not the culprit. Yeah, she's the culprit. Don't be ridiculous. Mario didn't do it. Oh, is that Balmet? I guess must have been. Hmm, if you're telling the truth, then we're de dealing with a backroom murder case. Oh, I never trained for this. A backroom murder case, a high-ranking penguin slain. How could such a horrible plot twist hit our peaceful city? I don't remember this at all. <laughs> but this is awesome. You, Mr. Mustache, once more for the record, you swear you didn't do this. Okay, I think I believe you, but this means we have to find the true murderer. It's the wife, clearly. She tried to pin it on me. Ah, perfect. I'll give you a chance. Since you claim that you're not the guilty party, then you must bring me the murderer yourself. She's right there. She's like purple, pinkish, wearing an apron, lies a lot. I'm gonna guess it's her. I mean, might not be, but that's what I think. If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. All right, off with you. You haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I must forbid you to leave the city. Oh man, we're becoming a detective. It's just like the, uh, the train chapter in Thousand Year Door. No reply. What's this? He has a, yeah, herring way. So that's, that's our, uh, evidence, I guess. Okay, you want to explain what that was about, lady? You killed him, didn't you? I knew my instincts were right. When I saw a stranger like you out here in such a remote place, I knew that you must be up to no good. Oh, the horror. My poor, poor peng penguinkins. Please forgive me for letting this murder in the house. How can... <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna kill you. You're, you're a liar. Like, you lied, like, straight up three times, saying that I barged right in, you didn't want me in, and that, like, you saw me kill him when you were in the other room. Like, what the hell, man? Alright, so Herringway is our clue. And I guess all we can do is explore the rest of the town uh, and try and figure out what happened. Um, so, oh hey, Chuck Quizmo, are we gonna do a quiz? That's his name, right? Co Wiz! It's everybody's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Wanna try the quiz? Sure, I do. Then let's go to the question. Question. What ability does Gumbario frequently use? Tattle, I guess. Yay. Correct. Congratulations. Here's your star piece. That was easy. You've correctly answered three questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long. Farewell till we meet again. Bye, Chuck Quizmo. All right. Well, uh, I don't know exactly what to do, but I guess we just have to explore the town. Yeah, you're not letting me leave. You better show some evidence if you're really not the one who murdered Merritt Penguin. Until you do, I'm sorry, but I can't let you leave the city, so I won't budge from this spot. Oh, no siree. I'm serious now. There's no use trying to move me. Am I being too rude? Sorry. Well, maybe these guys are Canadians, not Russians. Because he's being all, oh, I'm being rude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um... I'm debating if I want to end the episode here or not, or uh, explore a bit. I guess what I'll need to do is probably talk to a bunch of, uh, just probably talk to people. That's all I can think of. But you know, actually, I'm uh, I'm kind of tired. I've uh, been recording for a little while now, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end the and uh, end the episode here. And uh, next time we will explore the rest of chapter seven and uh, solve this murder mystery. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.